Hi guys, um, I'm Bethany Wolf and I am from Cleveland, Georgia. I recently officially moved to Cleveland. I've been living in Cleveland for about five or six years now, uh, but four or five of those years were uh, to go to college at Truett McConnell, which is here in Cleveland. I recently bought a house in Cleveland back in February and I am also recently married. I got married back in May. Um, I teach fourth grade at Tessin T. Gap Elementary School here in Cleveland, and I also teach um, self-contained. This is my second year teaching, so but things are going better than my first year teaching. I'm sure a bunch of you guys can relate to that. Um, I'm super excited about this science class because I feel that science is really important. I'm, re I'm currently teaching my fourth grade students about ecosystems, and they seem to really enjoy it. And why I think science is important is because it gives an explanation for things and I think kids need explanations of why a producer is a producer and why plants don't actually eat food that we buy at the grocery store and it helps them to be able to reason things because children are very logical and like literal thinkers and I think science is a great example and helps literal thinkers because they can see things and they can demonstrate things and they can do experiments and it really helps those visual and like tactile learners. And so I love teaching science and I look forward to learning more through this class to be able to help my students to better understand science. But yeah, um, so my favorite emoji, I pulled up a picture of it. This is my favorite emoji. And I use this emoji a lot because I'm a very happy-go-lucky person and I rarely ever show my emotions when I'm teaching, but I'll send my coworkers that emoji, which means like I'm happy, but like I'm dying or melting on the inside. Um, some of you can relate to that. But yeah, so I just feel like that's my favorite emoji because I relate to that one the most of where I just feel like I'm melting into a little puddle. If I was not an educator, I would be a nurse. Uh, I grew up, I always wanted to be a nurse. When I was a kid, in fact, I swore I would never be a teacher. So it's kind of funny that I'm here now. But when I was in college, during the summers, I would go back home and I would work a special needs camp and I was actually the director for it. So I learned that I had a love for children through that. And I also wanted to be a special educator because I felt like special ed was teaching, but also like the medical side also, because you have to deal with feeding tubes, medication, like seizure disorders, all kinds of things. And so I really had a heart for special education, but my college didn't offer uh, special ed. So I got my degree in elementary ed, but I would be a nurse because I love taking care of people. And I think the study of medicine is very interesting. And it's crazy to think how much our bodies are capable of with healing ourselves. Just even the simple like paper cut, I always look and I'm like, it's crazy that we can heal ourselves. Like our own bodies can heal ourselves. So yeah, I would definitely be a nurse. And I feel like I, I'm not a nurse by no means. I'm not saying that teaching is anywhere near nursing, but I get to fulfill some of those dreams of like taking care of people and being nurturing through teaching. So it works out. So the thing I collect this is random, but um, it's actually a very popular collectible item, but I collect nutcrackers. Um, I started collecting nutcrackers, I believe. My first one I collected was in 2012. Um, my family and I, we had a cabin in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we would always go up there the weekend before Thanksgiving. And every time we would go up there, I would get a nutcracker and my sister would get a snow globe. And so it just became a tradition. And recently, I believe it was two or three years ago, uh, we got rid of the cabin. So I haven't collected one since, which is kind of sad, but I don't know if I will collect anymore just because I have so many. Plus it was kind of like a tradition. So it just doesn't feel the same getting one not in Pigeon Forge. What is most surprising scientific discovery that I've, or what I personally feel, stars. And I teach stars in fourth grade, stars and planets. And I've always found them interesting because like every time I look up at the sky, I'm like, those stars are probably dead, you know, because the light is so old, like billions of light years old that the stars in the sky are probably dead by now. 
which is like mind blowing that the light that we see, like that star probably is dead by now. And that just hard to wrap my mind around. Also the temperature of the star. When I teach my students stars and temperature, that blue and white light is like the hottest there is. And kids have a really hard time associating that because when they build like a bonfire or something like that, they only see like the orange and the yellow. So I normally have to compare it to a gas stove, which most of them don't have. But yeah, stars are a very confusing thing to me. Not a confusing thing, but like a very weird concept. But they're very interesting to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I look forward to this class. Thanks.